so great to be here. I only have a few minutes, so I want to get started and get running. And I want to ask one single question. Is anyone here in the audience seeking or looking for a better future for herself, himself, or others? Just raise your hands. Oh, wow, great. Everyone, you'll see. People are very participating here. Good. So I want to show you, start with a movie, and Yasmin, if you can help us, uh, to show you a kid that is looking for a better future and how technology can help that kid. So... Imagine a world where playing a game reveals your personal strengths. Where opportunity finds you. And your dreams come true. Your future is in your hands. Change the game. Change your life. Thank you. So you saw this kid, and you saw how technology is helping create a better future. But I want to go backward a few years ago. Why am I here? Why did I start this company? Nucky is an American company, which was started out of my kitchen in New York City, and then built the first team in Palo Alto. So I graduated. I got my PhD. I was very confident about my future prospects. And I was looking for a job on Wall Street. And very quickly, I got interviewed. And it looked like that. It wasn't much fun. And they asked me all sorts of weird questions. And I realized that we were looking for golden nuggets, but they weren't really sure what those golden nuggets looked like or how to find them. And really bothered me the fact that there was no signals. I was not able to signal or to showcase what my potential was, and they were not able to understand me. So I got rejected, and I was frustrated, and I had no money, and it was not a fun time in my life. But I realized that it's very sad when someone feels that their talent is being wasted. And apparently, many people get this feeling. And that's the situation for millions, if not billions of people around the world. So I wanted to change this picture for myself and for others. And I started NAC. But what I wanted to do was not something small, not an incremental innovation. I didn't want to create a faster horse. I wanted to create a future device, future technology. And I found out that one Greek person said, and this is Plato, that you can learn a lot from how a person plays the game. So applying my game theory knowledge from my PhD, I started putting things together. And then I was looking into gamification and engagement and realized that Walt Disney said that adults and kids are all the same. We all want to be entertained. And so we built it. So we built a technology, even though every VC on Silicon Valley told me, you can't do that. So I didn't really listen to what we said. And I went ahead and built it. And we combined behavioral neuroscience and game theory and artificial intelligence. And we built a technology. And we built several games, and the games are available on the app stores. And we've built algorithms that use gameplay data to understand a person and to measure skills, abilities, what we call NACs. So here are some abilities, NACs, and digital economy skill algorithms. And we have education pathway algorithms and career pathway algorithms that measure and personalize and advise people and help them discover everything from how they play the game 
and it's all validated. And we have leadership entrepreneurship algorithms as well. So many algorithms we've built over the past few years. Now, people get their feedback immediately after they finish playing the game, but that's only the beginning of the story. Employers, universities, schools, edX, Salesforce, many other training providers, schools, governments, foundations, youth accelerators, cities, and so forth, all using the platform. The US government recommended NAC as the single unbiased tool for measuring potential of people. And it's now being used in over 120 countries. We also have results that show what's the impact of NAC on hiring and performance outcomes. And the pathways of connecting people to apprenticeships, to scholarships, to education, to jobs, to gigs, and much more. I want to skip that and just show you a few pictures of who's using NAC and where. So, here is a young lady in Berlin at Deutsche Telekom. Those are people from Unilever in an executive retreat doing a NAC 360. That's a young person in the World Economic Forum from Japan. And next to him, look at her face. Uh, here is a CEO of a global company. And young people on Wall Street, young people in Zurich, young people that are out of school and out of work in New York City, young people in India looking for jobs, young people in India that are getting skilled at Tata, one of our partners, for basic skill training, and those are youth in Johannesburg that don't have education or work and are unemployed and are sitting in a church and playing NAC games. And here you can see some more youth, and they play NAC games at the Starbucks because they don't have the money to pay for data. And here you see refugees in Berlin that cannot show their certificates and their potential to German companies. And some more refugees and migrants. And here you can see a young kid in Mindanao in the Philippines that never before touched a device until she played this game. And the potential is incredible. And one of her classmates. So we're changing the world, and we are collecting data and helping people discover their potential, fulfill their potential through education, skilling, learning, empowerment, work, entrepreneurship, and much more. And it enables people to know what they can do with their precious life so the life doesn't go to waste. And we extract and remove all the bias that exists in every community in every market in every company so AI is here to help and like uh, this person said anyone knows who this person is any guesses Yogi Berra okay so like Yogi Berra said the future is ain't what it used to be so we're excited about it thank you very much <laughs>